ever wanted to learn how to do this exact effect that you're seeing right now? Well, fortunately, it's really easy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All you need is After Effects and a 360 camera. So what makes this effect really cool is that it's actually really simple to create. You don't need any third-party plugins, and you can do it in just a matter of minutes. The camera that I like to use is the Gear 360, but you can use any 360 camera out there. Another good one is from Insta360. There's the Theta, because all you really need at the end of the day is just an equi rectangular image, and that's this one. It's all warped and distorted and looks kind of funky, right? Well, what you're seeing is everything all at one time. So when you distort that back into a sphere and then put a little pinprick right in the top and flatten it, that's when you get the little planet effect. Ain't that right, Obi? <laughs> and in the spirit of Video Blocks hashtag creator to creator initiative, this is what I made with my Video Blocks subscription. All right, so here we are in After Effects 2017, and I've got no other plugins installed on this one. This is a fresh install, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got a bunch of different footage examples here that I've brought in. We've got the ocean view shot from Video Blocks, classic wave coming up and hitting some rocks, but it's an equi rectangular image, which is exactly what we need. We also have Times Square, you know, just dropping in some random camera in the middle of a city. <laughs> and of course, everyone's done this, gone to a grocery store and jumped up on the cart and ridden down the aisle. Pretty fun, but this is actually a really good example of showing off exactly what an equi rectangular image does. Each of these aisles are perfectly straight, but because the 360 camera sees everything all at once, they appear distorted. And you can really see that along the lights here at the top and the cart here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get to it. So if I take the ocean view clip from Video Blocks and use that to start with, you'll notice that it's twice as wide as it is tall with an aspect ratio of two to one. And the first thing we're gonna do is pre-compose it. So Control, Shift, C, or you can go up to Layer, Pre-Compose, but it's far easier just to hit Control shift c But for this one, what we want to do is we want to leave all the attributes because we're not going to affect the footage just yet. So we'll label this our 360 footage. Boom. Now, technically, nothing has really changed other than inserting uh, our footage into a composition beneath this here. It's kind of like the layers of Inception, right? You have our current world here where we're just fighting gravity in a hallway, and then we go down one layer deeper, and now we're fighting in the mountains. But yeah, that's beside the point. So what we want to do next is actually double the size of the composition vertically. And to do that, I'm going to hit Control K. And here we can actually see our composition settings. So we want to change our height to be the same as the width. I'm just going to put in 2000, enter. And now, as you can see, we just have our footage, which is two to one aspect ratio in a composition that is a one to one aspect ratio composition. All right, and the next two things we wanna do might seem a little odd, but just bear with me here. So first I'm going to rotate this upside down. If I hold down shift, it'll lock into place. Or conversely, if you hit R on the keyboard, you can actually manually put in 180 degrees. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna actually align this with the top of the composition. And you can get in there and like really try to align it perfectly with the top here, but a far easier method of doing this is actually just to use the align tool. So if we align it with the top, align it with the left because it kind of moved it a little bit, it perfectly aligns it, which is actually really convenient. Older versions of After Effects doesn't have this. And to be honest, this is something I almost never use, but for something like this, it's perfect. Now, you'll notice that I can just rotate this around its own anchor point. We want to turn this into one giant square layer so that when I apply the effects, it thinks it's a square layer, but really it's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose it one more time. Control, Shift, C. But this time we're going to move all of our attributes and we're going to call this flipped footage. I mean, the name is completely arbitrary, but that's what I use. So flipped footage, and now you'll see it's acting as one layer, even though half of the footage is kind of just missing and transparent. That's okay. So what we're gonna do now is actually apply the two effects we're gonna be using, and they are polar coordinates and optics compensation. Let's start with polar coordinates. Type in polar and drag and drop our effect on top of the footage. So if we head on over to the interpolation and yank this up to 100%, it does some weird things. This is like not what we want at all. And that's because we need to first set it to be rectangular polar, not the other way around like it's set by default. So hit rectangular polar, and then when you crank this up to 
there we go. We get the little planet sort of looking effect. But this is not everything. We need to add one more effect and that is called optics compensation. And this is an effect typically used to like counteract the fisheye sort of like really weird wide angle lens artifacts. But for this example, I'm going to reverse and just kind of stretch out the edges. So what it's doing is it's actually scaling up the image as a gradient from the outside in. So the more I crank this up, the further that gradient comes inwards to scale it up. And you can crank this up until you get like this hyperspace looking like zoom effect, but that's not what we want. I typically like to set this at about 125 and boom, just like that, we have finished the effect. You can scale it up to whatever size you want, reposition it and maybe perhaps rotate it so that the ocean breeze is here at the top. And now we can ram preview this. Okay, and just like that, we have our little planet video. But what's really, really great about this is that now that we've done this effect, we can actually change the resolution of the composition back to something more normal. For instance, 1920 by 1080, classic 1080p. And here we can scale this to whatever we want, you know, move this around, perhaps even rotate it, animate the rotation, set this to there, maybe rotate it something crazy, set that to the end. And now as the shot plays along, it rotates around. Just one example of the things you can do with this. And what's really powerful about this effect is that we still have access to the entire process. What we can do is we can actually drop in new shots on top of it. And if we go all the way back up through our compositions here, it'll reflect all those changes we've made. Pretty sweet, right? I can drop in the grocery store shot. Oh, but that's right. I filmed this in a much higher resolution because I filmed this at 4K rather than 2K. But that is okay because I can scale this down so that it matches the size of this composition. In fact, there's a shortcut to make it perfectly align and that is Control Alt F. And no matter what size or what angle this is at, if I hit Control Alt F, it'll scale it to the exact dimensions of the composition. So now if I actually go back up through my composition here, we are left with the sweet footage of me writing down the aisle way. And you'll notice it's also still rotating because I have my keyframe still activated here. I can, of course, disable that at any time. Now it doesn't rotate at all. <laughs> and if I was to actually go back and drop in the Earth map that I was mentioning earlier, drop that over, Control Alt F, now we have the classic equirectangular version of Earth. So if we go up to the top image there, we now see it as viewed from, is that from the bottom of the earth? Let's try it the other way around. If you wanna flip this so that it's inside out, we just go to our flipped footage and instead of having it be upside down, we make it right side up. So now if we go back to our original view here, we have this. This is the actual logo slash emblem of the United Nations. Seriously, go check it out. They literally just, they did the little planet effect to the earth. But if I was to close out of these and try to restart the effect from scratch just really quickly, I'll show you just how easy it is. Let's take our Vietnam roads example here, which is what I shot last year, just riding through the roads on the back of a motorcycle, checking out all the scenery. All right, are you ready for the speed run? Let's do it. Control K, let's change our composition height to 3840 to match the width. And I'm going to rotate this so that it's upside down and then align it with the top and then pre-compose all of it. Control Shift C and move all the attributes. I'm not gonna name it. And then add our effect. Let's add optics compensation, but also polar coordinates and make sure we put that above optics. Set this to rectangular to polar, 100%. Reverse and set that to 125. And boom, the little planet effect is done. But wait, this is all still square. Control K, let's change this back to 2160 so that it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio as seen in Kendrick Lamar's video. Sit down. And then just gonna go on. That's how easy this effect is. And we can change this so that I'm going sideways, for instance. And just like that, we have our little planet effect. And I, I don't know what my time was on that, but that was pretty decently fast. And the best part about it is if I was to go through and you know go back to the original footage here, nothing has changed. And again, you can even do this with photos. For instance, I have a image here of me just chilling on top of a roof in Vietnam. And if I do the same thing here. And just like that, I have now created this image that I can throw on Instagram like I did last year. You can actually go to my Instagram at Ren the Reaper and see this exact image. And this is the exact process I did for it. It's super simple. All right, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please send me any of your own little planets that you've made on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Send them my way. I'd love to check them out and maybe give you some critiques. 
Thanks so much for watching everyone, and if you liked what you saw, there's a free seven day trial to videoblocks.com in the description, and you can find like over three million clips, and you'll get 40% off on all those things. I've used the service a lot in the past, so I recommend it. And in the meantime, check out the Sam and Nico channel and the Corridor Digital channel. That's where I spend pretty much all of my time these days. That's why I don't post often here. It's so windy. Apologize for the noise. But yes, stay tuned for more videos on this channel at some point throughout the year, and definitely over on those other channels. In the meantime, love you guys, and I'll see you later.